Guys and uh, welcome to my tutorial new UK on how to make a sliding door. So we first gonna start off by building a room, uh two rooms with a door in between them. This is an advanced tutorial on how to use your DK. Um I'm sure you know you know quite a bit about it anyway, so if you want to leave comments but please only positive ones, uh no negative ones saying you don't know what you're doing because I've already explained it as a warning. There you go. So see here I'm just make in the video I just made in making some uh rooms and stuff um to yeah I'm just making a room uh so you want to make it make it I made I've already made two rooms and uh I'm gonna make the door in between them. I kind of cock up here a bit so I'm gonna ad lib. So you know why what what I like about UDK is the the fact that it's free. That's that's probably the biggest win. Um, it's free and uh, you don't. It's easy to make a game. You know what you're doing. Uh, tools already there. You can quite a bit of the content browser and everything. So that's the other high points for me. And uh, right now I'm trying to figure out why the door's not really working out. And then I realise, oh, I've set the brush to a uh, hollow view. So where's oh? I set the, I set the brush to hollow. So I'll set the hollow. Close that that and it kind of goes away for a second and then I have to like I, you don't have to bother about making it all perfect it's just like this is just the purposes if you want to play a game of course go ahead and do it but I'm just gonna keep on um, just having it normal like I'm just roughly put it in place for the, for the, test, for the uh, tutorial purposes and uh, now I'm just sort of like then, press, then I'm just attracting it and then the, I have my door so I have my doorway and now I'm going to just select a um, satin mesh from the um, content browser. Uh, you can select any one out of there you want for a door. I'm just selecting the triangle shape thing because it looks like a door. And when it goes to add into actor, which is the third one down, don't just drag it and drop it because otherwise it won't work in the matinee, which you're going to use later on in the video. Um, so, once you just drop that in there, um, position it to where you want to. Unfortunately, I can't split the video here. But I can't cut bits out because I'm doing on the BB Flashback Pro um, editing sort of software thing. It's not got anything like um, skip it and fast forward and stuff. So, once you put those in place, you want to add, add a trigger, open, open up a Kismet, and then right click and go to New Event using Trigger 3, and then click Touch, and then right click New Matinee, and then drag the Touch to Play and Untouch to Reverse. You don't have to have an Inskate or anything. And then double click on my and a uh close close the kismet down and I cock up here again. Uh you are supposed to select sl the door first. I didn't because I am retarded. And I thought, ooh and and I realised oh, halfway off halfway off I, I mean after doing this that I have selected the trigger to move instead. So um this is pretty pointless this bit and again I can't cut it out which I would have done. Uh see and then I do everything right and then I realise oh the door's not selected, the trigger is. So I have to like just madly delete everything out of there and then so now they're right. So you want to select the door first and then go to your new em add new empty group. Add new empty group. Go on. There you go. And then go to just add just you can call it like one I just Press OK and then press and then right click on it and go to add new movement group and then scroll across to two seconds, click add new key and then just and then drag the door over to the side. Now it says down in the corner. I don't know if you can see that but right down there in the corner it says adjust key one. So and then if I just play that you can see that the door moves to the side. And we so when we step on the trigger it's gonna move the door to the side. Uh, so now I'm just gonna play that, and I realise, oh, I'm done light, and I have it, and I missed out an important step. Double click on the door, and then I'm going to collision, and check box, block rigid body, and then set the collision type to block all. Close out of that, and then um, I'm just gonna add a, add a light to the scene pretty quick, just like that. Because you don't have a light, I don't, don't know where you're going. It's a simple fact of life. No light, that's where you're going. Science so fact of the day. Anyway, uh, I don't know 
about what happened there because I think when I'm, when I'm recording the frame rate goes bad and then when I um I mean, when you've got a light that's not been built it just goes extremely bad as well so I was going to build the lighting quickly and then just close it down and then play the scene and then as you can see on the scene if I walk towards the door and I touch the trigger it will move to the side and I can go into the um, I can go into here so that's all from me please comment rate and subscribe for more